Action in motion. That was the theme of this year's State of the City address in Greensboro. While there was a lot of talk about uh, what Mayor Nancy Vaughn is pushing for a 1% prepared food tax, a big theme tonight, discussed often. Yeah, she believes it would contribute millions in revenue. Vaughn says money from this PFT would supplement facilities like the Coliseum and the various athletics venues that bring in tourists. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro joins us in studio. So Cassie, what would a PFT look like? Well, Neil and Katie, a prepared food tax would simply add an additional 1% charge to your tab if you go out to eat when the tax is implemented. It's a strategy that the mayor believes will get visitors to contribute more instead of people who already live here. Greensboro is the place to be. Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn touted various economic successes over the past year, including the Toyota electric battery plant. You can see 2023 was a booming year, raking in nearly $9 billion of investment by top-notch industries. Vaughn says 2023 was a great indicator of the growth of the city, also pointing to the rise in sports tourism. The Sports Business Journal ranked Greensboro second in the country for hosting and attracting sports events without having a major team. To be number two in the entire country, that is a huge designation. She pointed to venues like the Coliseum and the Stephen Tanger Center for Performing Arts for bringing in tourists. There are people coming from throughout the country to take part in what Greensboro has to offer. Vaughn says supporting the city's facilities like the Coliseum and sports venues requires a stable funding source, pointing to cities like Charlotte and Raleigh for comparison. They are paying for all of those things with a prepared food tax. It would be a 1% tax on food and beverages. For a $10 bill, it would add a dime to the bill. Guilford County is the fifth most visited county in the state with Mecklenburg County and Wake County ahead. Charlotte and Raleigh, they are ahead of us. They are ahead of us with prepared food tax money. After the forum, we asked the mayor what it would take to implement the tax and when it could happen. We don't have a timeline at this point on what it would look like. Obviously, we have to go before the legislature. I don't know if we would do that in the short session or wait for the next session, but we would need we would need their authority to either levy it or to bring it to a referendum, and that has not been decided yet. And there are people who do oppose that potential tax. Last summer, for instance, the North Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association sent Mayor Vaughn a letter in opposition saying it's just too soon after the pandemic to levy any additional cost onto consumers. Katie and Neil. All right, Cassie, thank you. Also during the state.